All right. Happy Friday, everyone. Hey, remember back in 2021 when it was announced that we were getting four-star legendary mods? Then, remember back in 2022 when it was announced we were getting four-star legendary mods? Well, now it's 2023 and still no four-star legendary mods. Do we really even want them anymore? I guess. I don't know. But for those of you that do, all is not lost, dear viewer. Because deep within the glitchy, buggy, nougat-filled files of Fallout 76, there is a light. A light that is a file of four-star legendary mods. And we're going to take a look at them today. Now, like, subscribe, super thanks if you want. Let's get into it. First, let me explain how 4-star legendaries were originally supposed to work. Once you apply the 4th effect, it becomes untradeable, bounded to you, and that 4th star becomes locked. You keep it forever, just like herpes. And it also had something to do with a new currency called Legendary Shards. I don't know. You really can't find much on that. So today, I will be showing you the mods for Armor, Melee, and Ranged. Now, the mods for Power Armor are exactly the same as for Armor. Alright, first up, Armor! You have Collectors, Daredevil, Elemental, Elusive, Enervating? Enervating? Is that even a word? Yes, it, it is a word. It causing one to feel drained of energy or vitality. The enervating humidity of the coast. Huh. Oh, we learned a new word today. Neat. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, guardians, haulers, invigorating, and persisting. Uh, collectors, magazines, and bobbleheads. Effect, effects last 20% longer. Daredevil reduces AP cost for sprinting by 10% while in combat. See, a lot of the, some of these sound redundant. Like, we already have some of them. Elemental, every five minutes, adds 20 resistance for a random element. That sounds a little OP. Elusive, increases jump height, reduces sprint AP cost, and replenishes some AP at low health. Enervating, reduces nearby enemy resistance, negative 10 elemental. Guardians increases nearby allies' elemental resistance by 10. Haulers plus 10 to carry weight. Invigorating increases AP regeneration for self and teammates. And persisting plus 15 to max action points. Now for melee. Accelerating temporarily increases attack speed after killing an enemy plus 10% for 30 seconds. Blood healers. Killing an enemy heals your teammates. Cheerleaders. Killing an enemy restores your teammates' AP. Critical healers. Landing critical hits restores your health. Ah, huh, that's nice. I like that one. Heavy hitters. Power attacks have a 50% chance to cause an explosion. Well, hopefully it doesn't do area damage. You're trapped in it. This is a melee weapon. Just hit someone with a baseball bat and they explode. Scavengers. 60% chance to find extra components when you are searching containers and corpses times two. Now, I don't know if any of these are stackable with anything else, so I don't know. I would probably say no, they're not. And Warmongers. Plus 150% damage on the next hit within 15 seconds of a kill. That's pretty nice. You're gonna hit somebody and then you're gonna kill them back to back. Ranged weapons! Bruisers. Plus 15% damage. Plus 25 damage resist after bashing an enemy. Headhunters. Zero ammo cost for 10 seconds after a headshot kill. Ooh, that's a nice one. And then there's the scavengers and warmongers. Now, just because these files are within Fallout 76 doesn't mean we're going to get 4-star legendaries. But, since it's in there, I thought I'd go over it and we could speculate on whether we're going to get them or not. I don't know, we don't have a roadmap. How the hell should I know? But tell me what you think in the comments. Do you even want 4-star legendaries? Do these mods look good to you? Do you still want camp? Pets. I'm going to say yes, you do, but I'm going to tell you right now, camp pets are gone. Don't even think about them. 
And I hate to end on a sad note, so once again, four-star legendaries like herpes. Ta-da! I thank you for watching. If you like this video, throw it a like. Any questions, concerns, complaints, praise, or just general agitation, put it in the comments section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you really, really like this video, hit the super thanks button. Help support the channel. All is appreciated. None is required. Remember, be safe out there. And as always, a good day.